Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, we're in the middle of the corona crisis here in the most parts of the western world. I hope it doesn't affect Africa too uh, drastically uh, and keep a distance from each other, folks. That's the best way to prevent a further spread of the virus. Anyway, this is uh, March 2020 and we currently in Maya 2020.1. There's a new thing which I just want to point you to. When you go to Windows and to Animation Editors, then you find a new green thing here which is called Motion Library. Now you might wonder why it is there, because under General Editors we have the Content Browser and in the Content Browser there are loads of FBX files which are basically motion capture data. For example somebody who runs and turns or somebody who stands and obviously Autodesk does not expand this section anymore and uh, puts its focus on a company which is called a Rococo and a Rococo can be found here in Maya now since version 2020.1 under the animation editors, the motion library. If you don't have that uh, here, the um, it, it is in, uh, installed by default, I guess, uh, but uh, you need to go to settings preferences and the plugin manager and go search for Rococo, R-O-K. It starts with R-O-K. You'll find it and activate it there. So what we'll do now is we just click here, motion library, and uh, it opens this window. When you start it first time, you need to log in. You find a login window here and uh, it doesn't cost anything until you actually purchase something for, for example, $6 here or $3. The most expensive ones are actually $6 for motion capture data. When you uh, sort it by price starting from zero, you find about 50 free motion capture data here. You can double click uh, and uh, do lots of other things. And uh, if you choose, for example, the low chain dance, whatever that is, you can just make it bigger here. <laughs> okay, it's a twist dance. Actually, I did a tutorial about the twist dance. Uh, you need to add it to your library, add to cart. It uh, is done by Audio Motion, whoever that is. Now it's in my shopping cart. Now I go to the shopping cart and I confirm this order, zero dollars, and I check out. Purchase was successful and now go to my library and uh, I did the same process before. So I have two objects now in my library, these two here. This is the low chain dance. This one has a different icon here because I've already um, made it, re I basically downloaded it. This is only the purchase here. Now I download it and I can just import it to Maya with right mouse clicking um, options. I just click here and it lands in the scene and I close this window. As always the character animation is far too big for the standard grid. So what I do now is go to Windows Settings, Preferences and Preferences. Just brief meditation. Windows, Settings, Preferences and Preferences. And then right here in the middle you find the settings. And they are in working units, centimeters and we need meters. And we save it. And now when you press the key A, you see the whole character here. And when you run the uh, animation, you see the twist dance right here. Now, how do you apply this to uh, geometry? Because this is obviously no geometry, it's just the joints and the bones. Well, I did a tutorial about exactly this, actually several tutorials, but we can do it briefly here as well for a more in-depth view. Just go to, this, uh, to the tutorial I did. General editors and the content browser, because here we find geometry. And I think right here, for example, Antonia, she's rigged, so she has a, a rig already built in. I drag her into the, into the scene. Here I find a, a mismatch in terms of uh, character animation timing, which is not a problem. And she doesn't have an animation built in, but she has a skeleton built in. 
all the way to the side you find the human IK tab here and uh, here you find the character what we need is Antonia so Antonia is our character but she is not driven by the control rig which is built in example here move it down I can anim animate her by hand but uh, I want to drive her with this control with this control rig which is called character and you can now already see that she's getting into that twist pose and she does the twist dance now it's a little bit irritating to see the skeleton half inside her that's because of the scaling which is done properly by Maya actually and uh, I think we can live with this and uh, I just rendered this briefly and I wish you a very good and healthy day. Bye bye. I like this music. If you don't like it, I don't care. This is computer animation. <laughs>